In this paper, we propose a novel distributed estimation and control algorithm to allow a team of mobile robots to detect and track an unknown number of moving targets. The robots use the PhD filter to simultaneously estimate the number of targets and the positions of the targets using noisy measurements. The targets may move around in the environment, and the number of targets may vary over time as targets enter and leave the environment. The robots first communicate with their neighbors to partition the environment into Voronoi cells. Each robot is then responsible for maintaining the portion of the PhD within its own cell. However, as the robots move about, so do their cells. This means that robots must transfer ownership of portions of the PhD to other robots. In this case, the dashed lines show the previous Voronoi cell of Robot 1. As we can see, Robot 1 must transfer ownership of some of the PhD to Robots 2 through 5. It will also receive portions of the PhD from its neighbors. The targets may also be moving about in the environment. Sometimes this motion will cause them to cross the boundaries between Voronoi cells. To account for this, each robot expands its Voronoi cell using the maximum distance that a target can travel in a single time step. The dotted line shows the expanded Voronoi cell for Robot 1. After expanding the cell, each robot runs the standard PhD filter prediction equation. Finally, each robot shares information with their neighbors about the targets that leave their Voronoi cell. The robots also receive noisy measurements of targets within the field of view of their sensor. However, the sensors may experience false negative or false positive detections, making data association difficult. Before updating the PhD using the measurement sets, each robot must check if its sensor field of view overlaps with that of any other robot. If not, the robot can simply apply the standard PhD update equation. However, if the field of view of two sensors do overlap, then the robots must apply the measurements in the same order to ensure that the final result is consistent. We do this by assigning each robot a unique ID number and using inter-agent communication to apply the filter updates in ascending order using the robot IDs. To move about, the robots use Lloyd's algorithm, in which each robot moves towards the centroid of its Voronoi cell. The robots use the PhD to weight the relative importance of points in the environment, causing the robots to prioritize areas that are believed to contain targets. We first test the ability of a team of 20 robots to use this algorithm to detect 9 static targets. Initially, the PhD is uniform, causing the robots to spread out. When the robots have determined that an area does not contain targets, the PhD will be close to zero. The robots will then avoid returning to these areas. When a robot discovers a target, the PhD will increase at the detected location. This will cause the centroid of the Voronoi cell to shift to the target location. The robot will then remain in the area to track the target. We also test the proposed algorithm with a team of 80 robots to track between 13 and 48 dynamic targets over 1,000 seconds. The team of robots behaves markedly differently when tracking dynamic targets as opposed to static targets. Instead of uniformly spreading out, most of the team clusters around the boundary of the environment where new targets may appear. The remaining robots spread out over the central region of the environment. When a central robot detects a target and moves with that target, keeping the target in its field of view. When a new target enters the environment and moves towards the center, the robot that first detects it will follow the target away from the boundary as long as there are other robots nearby to take its place. The figure in the upper right shows the number of targets over time. The red circles are the true number of targets, the solid black line is the expected number of targets from the PhD filter, and the black X's are the number of peaks extracted from the PhD. The figure in the lower right shows the optimal sub-pattern assignment error between the extracted target set and the true target set. This measures the average error in the location of each target, with a penalty of 10 meters for each missing or extraneous target.